Okay. Whoa. Good morning. Welcome to the uh, Good Life Meditation for this day, the uh, 30th day of uh, September 2016. And I'm on my way to work. Here we go. So, uh, <clears throat> maybe I've cleared out enough memory in the, uh, on this camera to be able to get to, to do this without rushing through it or uh, running short of memory. So, uh, this is something that I do every day. It's uh, it's it's kind of a stoic tradition to, uh, and I guess other others do it too, kind of to meditate upon the morning, meditate at the start of the day upon um, expectations and uh, uh, objectives. So I call this the uh, good life meditation, and what it really is is just my um, effort to uh, lay out my my values and my plan my, uh, for how I'm going to get through this day. And how I'm going to be, if I get through this uh, green light thingy here, it's like at the entrance thing to the freeway. It's always a bit of a challenge. It's like, because the lights go on at the same time, it's like a race. Ah! Except I don't like to, <laughs> I don't have no interest in racing, especially in the Prius. So let's get into it. There is, uh, the good life meditation consists of a, uh, of a statement of, uh, kind of a statement of, 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 of rights. It's a new piece that I've just added. Statement of individual rights. I've got to find a better way to say that. You'll, I think you'll get it when I say it in just a second, what I mean, but I'm not presenting it well. The second part is the uh, uh, objectives, three objectives, and seven principles is the third part. So the statement of rights, what this is, is this lays a foundation. And what I've discovered as I was developing this, this whole methodology, this whole this construct, was that um, the good life uh, uh, objective, way of doing things could there's a piece of it that looks after the social good that said that, that that pushes towards um, looking after the, the good of the many at the instead of the instead of the the individuals I mean, I just can't not finding my words today and you know that's an old idea right the good of the many but but what I found was you've got that's a worthy and worthwhile thing to go after but at the same time you have to protect the you have to protect the minority individuals or the or the individuals from the welfare of the many you know and I always use this example I need a better one or a different one let's say for example we decided we to save people's lives we were going to sacrifice one individual in 10,000 to harvest their organs and give you know an eyeball here and a heart there and their lungs here and here to save others well that would you know, promote the social social good, the, the general good, by saving the lives of you know how many uh, odd people, but at the expense of an individual. So there needs to be some respect of the individual's rights in this whole process to protect from that. And I, it's interesting that societies, uh, uh, government governments, and other social institutions have recognized this. And we have things like the Magna Carta and the you know Articles of Confederation and the Bill of Rights. Um, that uh, do exactly that. They say, okay, we're, look, we're gonna set up a form of government, but we have to establish that there's some, that the individuals have rights that need to be protected in all, in all cases. And, and likewise with, you know, interestingly with like with religion, and in the, again, in the protection of, uh, of the separation of church, church and separation, which uh, it helps to ensure that, uh, helps to ensure that, rel that the religious minorities, the religious groups have the right to, per to exercise their religion. Why am I rushing through this? This is not something I produce for anybody else. It's, I'll upload it, but I, I just I just do this to record it to help me refine it. So I, I shouldn't worry about uh, being so produced. Just take a breath. Relax and do it like I usually do it when the camera's off. Well, when the camera's off, I rush through it. So we'll try to find some middle ground. You get what I'm trying to say here, though? Important in all of this is that there needs to be a way to protect the individuals from the welfare of the many. That's a good way to say it. Protecting individuals from the welfare of the many. I like that. How do I say that? Because I've got object three objectives, seven principles, a statement of and a statement of rights maybe that's it so let's get on 
We have uh, three objectives. The first objective is uh, the development and maintenance of good, sound principles. Those are the seven principles. Because we have to have that as an, as, as, as an objective, otherwise we won't do the work to develop it and, maintain, and very importantly maintain it. The second objective is to exercise good emotional reactions when life throws us some curveballs and challenging circumstances come at us. The third is the uh, performance of good actions, just doing good things for their very sake. Let's get on now to the seven principles. The first is the atomic principle, which simply states that the world is made of bits and pieces, the universe is made of bits and pieces. Material formed of uh, compounds, formed of uh, molecules, formed of atoms, subatomic particles, which are kind of a form of frozen energy, which is energy is everywhere. And that these things are changing, transforming, and that what is today will be something else tomorrow, and again the next day. This helps us to remember that uh, there, nothing is really permanent to expect change and also to act now with a mindset and an understanding that this moment these opportunities are fleeting and will be gone soon. Second, number two, the uh, principle of nature, another, another stoic principle. Uh, you know, a lot of the stuff I borrowed up from elsewhere, probably most of it, not all of it. <laughs> The uh, principle of nature states that uh, everything in the universe has a particular nature and that it's a worthwhile effort to look to uncover what that nature is in the things around us. When I have a free moment, I like to look at things and say, you know, what is the nature of, what is the nature of that uh, tree? What is the nature of justice? What is the nature of my own nature? What is the nature of uh, the organization where I work? When I can understand what those things are, then I'll, I'll have better expectations about what they do and how they will behave in the future. I'll be less likely to be caught unawares, unguarded. If only when I am, I can use my, my temperance to moderate my uh, uh, emotional reaction. Number three is social. Uh, social humans are uh, social animals. We uh, need one another to, to really thrive. And it's worthwhile to spend our time uh, in the pursuit of social ends, looking after the welfare of others. Four, the uh, temperance. Temperance is the uh, re exercise of restraint when it comes to consumption and, and indulgence. So uh, controlling uh, li and limiting our uh, eat, sleep, drink, work, play, sex, and all other things, and letting, running away with our emotions, that's a, probably the, the key right there, all the other stuff is just practice for that, so that again, when challenging systems, circumstances arise, we don't uh, fly off in an emotional fluster, but instead keep our cool. I used to think that that meant bottling it up, I don't think that anymore. It's a way of channeling it elsewhere and directing it. And the very act of exercising that control takes a great deal of energy and will. And uh, it's a kind of a release on its own. So I don't think that's the case. You can live a, you can live a disciplined life without uh, living a, uh, without denying the expression of, uh, of emotion. In fact, you can, uh, once you have that, you can uh, then channel that expression more appropriately to venues and outlets that uh, are more seemly and uh, a better match for our, for our nature. Next is uh, the great indifference. Key to so much in my worldview. Because I, I don't believe there's a God. I don't believe there's any, there's no evidence, there's no good evidence of any sentience off this, anywhere other than on this planet. And if it is out there, it's doing a great job of hiding. And those that claim it's there are for the, for as far as I can see, uh, it's wishful thinking. They're making it up. They're uh, they're allowing their uh, themselves to uh, 
find comfort in uh, stories that are designed to be comforting. And when they have that, they claim that dialogue with another, they're really talking to themselves. When, when, when in that state of mind that I see it as there is no, there is no God, there is no, uh, there's no deity that really cares about us, then that kind of uh, grounds my life and living with my fellows, you know, that bring back to the social principle. You know, that I want to, uh, the love that I'll find and the compassion and the caring is with my fellows, my, the others. It's a funny thing that I go to the desert alone to, count, to confront the great indifference, only to make it, and every time I do it, it causes me to run back to my, back here to society, you know, as, as, a, as, like, as a man, a thirsty man in the, in the desert who hasn't had a sip of water for a day and a half, would, would race back to get a drink of the nourishing drink and say, oh my gosh, this is, this is what it's all about, you know, the, <laughs> the sustenance, and it is the sustenance there. And then I, after a couple of days of that, I'm ready to go back to the desert again. Because uh, encountering that great indifference by going alone, it's another piece I should work into this, the whole going alone thing. Because it's that going alone that, if you can get away from that internal dialogue and fooling yourself to think you're talking to some god, when you're going alone and, 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 and you don't talk to yourself <laughs> like that, then, it's like wow, so much, uh, so much comes clear in terms of uh, the scale and scope of uh, of what is and what isn't, and then and the necessity of uh, of uh, looking am amongst our fellows for companionship. My wife just sent me a message. Good morning. <laughs> comes up on the screen. She can't see that, of course. So. Six is um, reason, the governing faculty. Reason is the uh, capacity that we have to use logic and objective observation to make sense of the world. A lot of people complain that uh, you can do that. You can do that too much. I don't know if that's possible. Is it possible to be to, to be to be too reasonable? like Spock without emotion I don't think that the one denies the other I'm a very emotional person I'll cry at the drop of a hat but I won't cry I won't cry over sentiment that uh, is unsubstantiated you'll get me all teary eyed when, when uh, you show me something that uh, is true that is worthy of crying kind of a when you, when, you, when, you, when you approach the world in this way, it kind of is a quick way to filter out your relevant uh, uh, mind chatter, the, the nonsensical koi uh, uh, blanket stuff that just provides us comfort. For example, like the God myth. You know, what a comforting thing. What a great thing to have, to have that. Then you don't have to uh, face, the, face the great indifference. And that... Uh, that I did that dead stare of the wild and it's even I always say this it's too much to even call it that because the dead stare implies that it was once alive it's not <laughs> encountering the great indifference is like is like is like having having a, a face to face with with an asteroid <laughs> you know <laughs> there's no pretense of uh, of ever of ever having or ever now having any uh, life or living there was ever gravel truck ahead of me. Let me get out of that lake. Well, I'm at 14 minutes and it hasn't closed off. This is working, so I won't have to rush through this. Hopefully, it'll continue to work. The, uh... Well, there you go. Hope, hope it doesn't fall. The truck is having some trouble. Hope it doesn't fall apart right there. Anyway, so the last one. Uh, virtue. The seventh uh, principle is virtue. Virtue is the purpose of life purpose of life is something that we choose. I don't know if I want to be near this truck that's making all those weird sounds. Virtue is the purpose of life that, uh, as I see it, because otherwise, I, if there's no God handing out purpose, uh, it's up to us to identify what that is. 
and I, de I identify it as uh, virtue. And uh, virtue is, is really nothing more than uh, the uh, improvement in uh, anything that helps to improve the uh, welfare of uh, society, in individuals and societies, human and animal, and environments. It's, you know, things like, you know, we're not going to put, uh, we're not going to put battery acid in the drinking water. <laughs> We are going to uh, uh, provide uh, the, 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 the most co comprehensive education for as many people as possible. We are going to uh, pursue clean air. We are going to uh, we are going to improve communications and access to uh, access to uh, healthcare to as many people as possible. We're uh, not going to uh, uh, we're not going to uh, uh, do anything. We're not going to do things that make that decrease wealth, the welfare, the well-being of the planet. Uh, we are going to do things such as the pursuit of clean energy that will help to uh, make our help keep our planet healthy and to boost the, the, the thriving of species and uh, ecosystems. These things, these are objective, measurable things, and there are actions that we can take that that, that further those. These, this is the definition of virtue. And uh, the seventh principle is to live a virtue life, virtuous life. And I hold that the best way to live a virtuous life, according to the good life, what's this stinky stuff? Is to um, live a life where you uh, recognize the transient nature of everything. Uh, look for the, uh, the look look for what is what is inherent in, in, in the things around us. What is the nature of those things? And uh, uh, recognize them so that you can expect that of them, and uh, for good or bad. And uh, so you're not surprised. And uh, whoa, what's this guy doing? Well, it's a crazy day on the freeway. And so that uh, you can also understand what your own nature is, then live in accordance with that. Um, and also uh, pursue social ends, uh, uh, exercise temperament, uh, temperance, you know, controlling consumption. Um, is this person texting and driving? Uh, exercise temperament, temper, temperament, temperance. Uh, abide the great, uh, recognize the great indifference. Don't fool ourselves, otherwise. And uh, use reason as the governing faculty. And look at this. I'm in 17 minutes, and I finally got through. Kind of long-winded, but hey, that's the purpose. That's why I turned the camera on is deliberately to be long-winded. If this turns out to be 30 minutes, so be it, because I need to develop this stuff. And it's nice if anybody cares to uh, follow along, but. That's, really not the reason I'm doing it. I'm doing it to, so that when later on today, midday, when I'm in a meeting and things start to go south, I recognize that that's the nature of the way human beings interact sometimes, that our communications fail us and that our panic, our worry and our panic overwhelms us. That I'll, I'll understand the nature of my fellows in the room and my own nature and I'll choose to exercise temperance in terms of uh, not running away with my emotions in terms of getting upset or frustrated. And then I'll uh, seek after the social good. What, what, how can I uh, uh, resurrect that, not run away from that situation, but given the fact that I work, I work in the social services, it's very important that what I do succeeds. How can I resurrect that, that uh, active, this meeting, to get it back on track? Help get help get it back on track towards so that we can all complete our ends towards uh, to, towards improving social ends, and then have, go home at the end of the day feeling like I've helped to improve. I've lived a virtuous day, and I've helped to improve the greater good. That's why I do this. Thanks for watching. If anybody even got this far, have a good day with your day and your walk. <laughs> See you later. Bye bye.